Okay, so welcome to the intermediate number one. With this one, you're going to be very familiar with this type of pull-up because it is a normal body weight pull-up. Starting on the bar, you're going to make sure that you're at the absolute bottom dead hang position. A lot of the points from the fundamentals video is going to come into play here. There is no extra equipment to help you. So what we're going to do is grab the bar, you're going to squeeze hard, you dead hang at the bottom and pull up and come back down into that dead hang or relaxed position. It is a great way of improving your strength. We're going to work on the programming and figuring out how to get stronger with this type of training after all of the variations have finished. But this one is going to be an absolutely key one to get right. Using a lot of the variables with the pull up, one of the major ones is the amount that you do. So this exercise can be very scalable because depending on how many you do, how many repetitions you do, allows this exercise to get easier or harder. So you can play with the pull up in a lot of different ways, but the amount of work that you do is what's going to make this hard. Changing the amounts that you are doing on the bar, so the number of repetitions you are doing and how many sets of that you are doing, all depends on whether you're looking at trying to do strength training, endurance training, something called hypertrophy training, so that is to look at getting your muscles bigger, whether you're trying to do lactic acid training and you're getting used to the amount of lactic acid in your body, there is lots of different ways of tweaking this exercise, the body weight pull-up exercise, to make this training very, very versatile. So one of the awesome things about the pull-up is the fact that you are doing the exact mechanics needed to pull yourself up onto something because that is exactly what you are doing. So getting used to doing this motion and trying to do the pull-up for the full range of motion is going to be a great way to becoming more functional. Another great plus is you don't need any equipment. There is nothing extra you need other than a bar to hang on. And that makes this one of the most versatile and best exercises to working your overhead pulling action. So starting from the top and pulling down. So let's have a look at some of the things that the body weight pull up doesn't necessarily work. Now, the first one can be slightly controversial, but arguably the pull-up is not very functional. In itself, getting to this position doesn't really help you do much. So starting from the top and getting to here is not really going to help you get all the way up over something. So we will look at that in another series, which would be the muscle-up and the climb-up but actually a pull-up is going to help become a strength training exercise to becoming stronger, but functionally it is not that functional in terms of getting over something or onto something. One of the other things that uh, I mentioned at the very beginning of the series is the fact that full range of motion of the bodyweight pull-up is not always done. And I've seen this many, many times that the pull-up generally finishes when the chin gets above the bar. Now, that is not the end of the pull. The end of the pull is when you can no longer do any pulling with the arms. So, from the side, the pulling actually finishes when the arm is parallel with the ground and you actually start pushing instead. Now, the pull-up is actually quite tricky to do a full range of motion to that position because the bar is actually in the way and your chest can actually get into the way of the of the bar and the pull up and it means that you have to curve around it as you pull so the the bar of pull up actually for a full range of motion can be very tricky uh, however it still can be done and training it is actually a really good way of increasing the strength in that bottom end. So one of the other things to think about when you are doing isolated type muscle groups, so with the pull up, you, the isolation is you are doing really only upper body type muscles. So your obliques and your glutes might get involved a little bit, but 
actually the pull-up is not going to be using your entire body and we really want to think about doing exercises that involve as much of the body as we possibly can. So the pull-up, even though it's a great exercise, it's very, very strength-based and it can help increase your strength. Functionally, it's not that great and it can be quite isolated in terms of the muscle groups that are being used. So when you're doing a pull-up, there is lots to remember. There's lots and lots of different things to try to do to, to get this right. And that can actually be quite daunting when you're trying to just work the pull-up. Obviously, start from the beginning and only focus on one or two things. And as you start doing it more, you're going to incorporate more parts of it to make sure you're getting it right. It is imperative that when you are doing the bodyweight pull-up that you're doing it correctly. You're doing the full range of motion as always. And you're always trying to make sure you've got great body position. Otherwise, you are just being weaker in certain sections and we want to try to get rid of that. So that's a wrap up of the intermediate first version of the pull-up. This is essentially something that most people are trying to get to doing pull-ups on their own without any assistance. We're going to look at the programming and how to do your training at the end. But for now, this is just a demonstration of how to do a bodyweight pull-up correctly with the right mechanics.